David Bronstein, King of Late Night TV. Uh, does someone want to explain to me the occupying Wall Street deal? What the hell is? They're occupying Wall, occupying maybe they're occupying too. They're occupying Wall Street in Toronto and uh, England and Vancouver, uh, Ottawa, everywhere in Canada. They're occupying, occupying, occupying. And, and and all I know is from what I read about that all these people are occupying Wall Street because they're upset that everyone has too much money. Everybody has too much money, but them. The banks have too much money. Wall Street has too much money. Billionaires have too much money. Everybody has too much money. They, they don't have any money, but everyone else has too much money because they're they're bailing out the banks, they're bailing out the politicians, they're bailing out the big businesses. Everyone's getting bailed out except these people that are occupying everything are not getting bailed out. And they're, they're giving billion dollar CEO packages, golden parachutes, uh, golden showers, whatever the hell they're giving. They're giving out to everybody but them. Everyone's getting a golden shower, but these occupying people, whatever the hell they're talking about. So they're all upset that everybody's getting money. They're not getting a dime, nothing, because everyone else has money and everyone should give the money to them. Is that what the hell's going on? Showers. What? You, have any idea what golden you want to take a golden shower? So go ahead, because I gotta pick up Jared soon. So uh, everyone is 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 giving, getting bailing out, and they have no money. So they said, "Listen, we have no money, and we're gonna sleep in this tent. We're gonna put up a tent, and we're gonna sit there until somebody gives us money." Now this is what I'm reading about. For a minute, I thought, "Hey, this is a pretty good idea. I like that. I'm gonna sit in a tent too. I'm gonna sit in a tent until somebody gives me money, because all day I gotta work. All day I gotta work. Nobody cuts me a check on Friday unless I do something." So I figured these people, everyone. That knows something that I don't know. If you sit in the tent, then you get money. That's all I know. So I figured maybe I'll sit in the tent. Because every Friday, I would go to my billionaire lunch. I call it my billionaire lunch. I sit with these these billionaires, these guys, these came over from the boat, they had nothing. They, they, they were, grew up poor during the Depression and they have built empires. They built empires with their street smarts and their know how, and they built real estate empires and business empires. They dropped out of school, they dropped out of. They never went to college, they dropped out of school at 15, 15 years old, they dropped out of school, and they, they're billionaires. They're worth hundreds of millions of dollars, these guys. Every Friday I have lunch with them, and I figured, whoa, these guys have taken me under their, their wing, they've taken me into their. whatever they've taken me into, and, and I figured maybe I can learn from these guys, because I like to have the success they have and they've been so kind to, to teach me and to to mentor me and to give me information say Dave just do what we did we we didn't go to college we didn't go to university we, we didn't get degrees but we, we built our empires through street smarts and know-how and, and doing and building and working and contacts and, and and social we built these empires and they would give me advice on how and I figured out I'll, I'll take their advice I'll just do what they do because I tell my kids all the time you want to be successful do what successful people do so I figured these guys are the greatest guys in the world what they're teaching me what they're what they're what I'm learning from them I could never learn in books I can never learn in college because this is actual know-how of these guys that build empires. And then I heard about this occupation on Wall Street that they're all upset that everybody has too much money and they're going to sit in a tent. So I figured, wait, what the hell's going on here? I'm going to sit in a tent too. Well, well, these guys, these billionaires should be giving me money like all these Wall Street people say. Give me money. The billionaires have too much money. Give me the money. So I thought, these guys on Friday, they should give me the money because they're billionaires. I'm going to sit in a tent. The hell with this? The hell with all their advice? The hell with them giving me information? The hell with me work? And I'm not going to work. I'm going to sit in a tent. Because these Wall Street people are sitting in tents and they want people to give them money. I think that's a good idea. So I'm going to do what they do. I'm going to sit in the tent and I'm going to get money. So I put a tent on the front lawn. And Andrew said, what the hell are you doing? I said, I'm going to sit in the tent because he's occupying Wall Street. The people sit in the tent and then supposedly people give him money. That's why they're sitting in the tent because they don't have any money. So I'm going to sit in the tent too. I'd rather sit in the tent than have to work. So I'm sitting in the tent. So day one, I sat in the tent. I got no money. Day two, I'm sitting in the tent. Got no money. Day three, I'm sitting in the tent. I said, what the hell's going on here? I'm sitting in this tent. I'm not getting any money. Before, when I was sitting with these guys, and they were giving me advice, and they said, Dave, you ought to try this. You ought to try that. You, we built, built this business. We put together this restaurant. We, we bought a building over here. And they were giving me that advice. And I was taking their advice. I was making money. Then when I started sitting in the tent, I wasn't making any money. I said, something's off kilter here. I got to figure this thing out. So after day three, I left the tent. And then a deal came my way for these toothpicks, these flavored toothpicks, which I'm going to tell you about it, www.flavoredtoothpicksonline.com. So I said, oh, I got these flavored toothpicks. I'm going to do some business with these flavored toothpicks. toothpicks. I need a toothpick. So I started calling around to some friends of mine, some business associates. I said, hey, I got these flavored toothpicks. They're grape and they're cherry and they're purple and they're green, whatever the hell they are. And they, they help you stop. Oh, Jesus Christ, I got so much gas, I could drive to Pittsburgh. These great flavored toothpicks. They, you, they to help you stop losing weight, you, you, you stop smoking, they give you fresh breath. And then all of a sudden, all these guys I'm pitching to say, Dave, I got 4,000 variety stores we can put these toothpicks in. Hey, Dave, I got all these dollar stores we can put these toothpicks in. Hey, Dave, I got a huge online campaign on eBay. I got millions of customers. I said, this is the greatest thing in the world. Look, look what happened. When I was sitting in the tent, I wasn't making any money. As soon as I got out of the tent, 
and I started working and hustling, all of a sudden, I started making all this money, all these deals were coming through. This was the greatest thing in the world. Then I went to be with those guys on Friday, and they were giving me advice. David, you should build real estate here, you built a house over here, you built a building over here. I went to a country club over there, and I started meeting more wealthy guys who were sharing the wealth with me, sharing all their information, and introducing me to other big money guys to bank all my deals. I said, this, this is the greatest thing in the world. These guys are great. I, I, I love these guys who are giving me their success, their, their, their expertise, their, their know-how, their street smarts on how to succeed in business and in life that I can never learn sitting in a tent. Because when I was sitting in a tent, I had bugs crawling all over. I couldn't take it anymore. So I want somebody to explain to me, what the hell is this Walsh? And everybody's upset. They're sitting in tents. And I just don't get it. And now I hear that the, that the, 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 the mayor of Toronto wants to get all the tents out of the way. And all the people in the tents are all upset. So girl was crying. I can't believe it. I was sitting in the tent. Now they want me to get out of the tent. I Would somebody please explain to me what the hell is going on with this occupying Wall Street, Toronto. People are sitting in tents because they want money. I tried to sit in the tent. I got no money. When I started working and hustling and, and socializing and being with successful people, I started making money and deals and opportunities were coming my way. Sitting in the tent, I had ants and spiders and cockroaches. Go to DavidPronti.com and go to www.flavortoothpicksonline.com. That's www.flavortoothpicksonline.com. This hot new deal. If you want to lose weight and stop smoking and get fresh breath, these are different flavored toothpicks and juice sticks. It's, you you got to see what the hell I got there because even I don't know what the hell I got. So go to www.flavortoothpicksonline.com and then tell me what the hell I got going on. And if you're a, a sales pro, a web pro, a distributor, an importer, a retailer, a wholesaler, I don't care what the hell you are, let's do business together. If you know sales pros, web pros, retailers, distributors, wholesalers, whatever you got in the online business, the retail business, the wholesale distribution business, if you're the head of Walmart and Target and Variety Store, get in touch with me now. I'll give you the best prices to distribute these toothpicks in thousands of stores, on thousands of online sites, on thousands of online stores, on eBay stores. If you're an eBay pro, get in touch with me. Let's do business right now. Get in touch with me, www.flavor toothpicksonline.com or if you just want the toothpicks yourself you can buy one little toothpick you can buy one little thing with toothpicks and you clean out your teeth and you have fresh breath and it curbs your appetite for smoking it curbs your appetite for eating it curbs your enthusiasm it curbs everything it curbs outside when you're parking lots of curbs go to www.flavortoothpicksonline.com and get fresh breath for god's sakes for two minutes let's make some money together and Lastly, what the hell's... Give it to the Wall Street occupant while they're all sitting in tents. If you know where these tents are, give it to the guys in Wall Street. We can start there cleaning their breath. Goodbye.